<laughs> All right, hey, how's it going RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg and you are probably looking for a cool RC car kit to build. Well, you're in the right spot. Today we're going to talk about 10 cool kits that I've built up here on the channel and I'm comfortable recommending to you. There's a variety of kits that we're going to check out. I'm gonna tell you, you know, how they build up, if there's anything that you need, and I'll have links in the description below if you wanna check out those reviews. I'll also have affiliate links or I suggest checking out your local hobby shop. They're also a great resource. All right, let me clear off this bench and we'll start with our first kit. So I'm gonna show you these 10 kits in no particular order. They're a variety. They're just cool car kits that I think you should know about. And I am going to start off with Tamiya as our first kit though. Tamiya is pretty much the go-to company in my opinion for kits. And uh, they offer some really fun and unique kits. And their instruction manuals are fantastic. I often recommend the Tamiya kits for new people getting into this hobby because uh, when you open up the manual, everything is just laid out nice and neat, easy to follow. If you're unsure of what size screw you need to use, you could physically put that screw on the instruction manual to make sure it's the right length. And the one kit that has stuck out in my recent builds of Tamiya kits has been this comical Avanti. It's kind of a cool spin on the original Avanti for those of you that are into the hobby. And uh, they're just a fun little buggy to, to run around in the backyard, in a baseball field, a dirt lot, a, a lot covered in wood chips. That, that's what's great about Tamiya cars. You could run them pretty much anywhere, any of their off-road offerings. Again, it's easy to build up. They actually give you the motor and the speed controller with this. And then with this particular kit, they even paint the body. You just have to apply the decal but the rest of the kit builds up nice and smooth and it's fun to run. The motor out of the box is a little underpowered, but if you're new to RC, you're going to get into RC successfully uh, driving it around without crashing it and beating it up too much with that motor. And then you could always upgrade later on down the road. And they offer option parts for this if you do want to go and, and customize it yourself. But Tamiya kits are awesome. And this was just a fun drive. It was a fun build. And that's why you should check it out if you want to build up something unique. The Traxxas Slash, this is probably one of the most versatile trucks out there. These come ready to run and of course in kit version, that's what we're talking about. But uh, there's people that build drag cars out of this, Eastern Dirt Modifieds, uh, even sand rails, just a really cool truck. And of course you could drive it as a short course. But Traxxas offers some great kits. The instruction manuals in these are fantastic. This one actually comes with the radio system and the electronics. The only thing you have to do is basically provide the tools, uh, the paint, and uh, some glue for the tires. I believe, I, I don't think they glue the tires, but anyway, this is a really cool truck. Uh, just because when you pull this thing out of the box and drive it, the fun factor is totally there with it. Uh, you know, there's plenty of part support out there for it. It is a pretty rugged truck and just really fun to drive. I mean, I've built probably 15, 20 of these things. There's another build I'm doing back there uh, just for fun it's out of parts I've had. Uh, kicking around the workshop. Uh, that's just how many I've built. I could pretty much build this thing without instructions at this point. That's uh, how many I've had because I just love driving this truck in all different forms. Really nice kit from Traxxas. So maybe you're looking for something a bit more precision, more race-like, definitely check out TLR kits. I've built up the TLR 22 AC 5.0 for turf racing and it was a fun build and a really nicely done kit. The uh, fit and finish on TLR parts are absolutely fantastic. The kits go together really well. And then when you hit the track, they are competitive. Now with a racing kit, you need to provide a lot of the support equipment, tires, uh, speed controller, motor, batteries, servo, glue, sometimes even oils and greases. This kit did come with some, but the other TLR kits uh, you know, you definitely need to check out the uh, the need list on those. But when you're done, you have a cool competitive racing machine. And don't worry if you never hit the track before, you've never raced before. Uh, this car right out of the box, the setup that they provide is nice and nimble and easy for anyone to, to pick up and learn how to race with. You know, hit up your local track for some club racing or on a practice day, get yourself settled in. Then you could go and sign up for an event. But TLR, they know what they're doing. They're a multiple world championship uh, company and they offer some really cool stuff. Oh, check that out, the Axial Capra. This is a fun off-road crawler. If you're looking for something that could really cling to the rock, 
crawl some really steep inclines, this is a rig to check out. This is a full build-up kit as well. You are going to have to supply pretty much all your all the electronics actually, even tires for this thing. Uh, paint the body, but this is a really capable rig that a lot of people are enjoying. The instruction manual on this one is pretty decent. There are some hiccups in there. If you've never built an RC car kit before, you might want to either steer clear of this and check out another axial kit or uh, join a Facebook group for this and do a search for issues with the instruction manual. There's just a few. I, I don't want to scare you off from the kit. Uh, the rest of it does build up really well. But what's cool about this rig beyond its capabilities is it's got a huge following. So there's tons of information out there for it and tons of parts that you could just take this thing from mild to just totally wild on its capabilities. If you love off-roading, if you love crawling stuff, this is a kit you have to check out. Now here's the Kyosho two-wheel drive off-road buggy. This is a re-release vintage kit with some uh, with a twist to it. It's got a few modern touches to it that help it run a lot better than in the past. But uh, if you are looking for a cool kit with that vintage twist to it, this is this is really one to check out. I really enjoyed building this. Uh, one, because I had a Turbo Ultima. The, obviously, this is just the Ultima version, but it really brought me back to the fun I had with my Turbo Ultima. I love the chassis on this, the aluminum chassis, uh, the aluminum shocks on here. This car actually handles really well. Uh, I had a brushless system in there and just enough speed and just kind of that old school driving feel to it. But uh, again, full build up on this. The instruction manual is pretty good and you will have to supply all the electronics, uh, the paint, glues, and I believe it came with the oils. Don't quote me on that one. But it'll take you some time to build it up, maybe a day if you are into RC, you already know what you're doing. If you've never built a kit before, it'll probably take you two to three days. But uh, overall, when it's done, it's fun to drive. It's, it's cool to throw up on the shelf, just kind of relive the old days if you've been in RC for a long time. I really like Kyosho's re-releases. They have a couple of them, check them out. The G-Made Buffalo. G-Made is a company that's been around for a while, probably a little on the smaller side of the crawler group, but they make some really cool stuff. And the Buffalo is kind of one of those hidden gems for a couple reasons. Now, this is a builder's kit. If you want a challenging build, this is a truck to get. When it's done, it's a really cool rig, but you know, building it's going to take you some time. You'll see that in my review if you check that out. But when you're done, this kit looks pretty awesome and it runs really well out there on the trails and when you're crawling up off-road terrain and such. Uh, really nice kit, uh, really well done throughout. They've got some really neat features on the inside. You will need to supply the usual stuff, uh, paint and electronics and everything. Uh, but G-Mate, definitely check out what they have to offer. Element RC has quickly become a favorite in the off-road crawling community, and that's because they got some great ready-to-runs and some really cool kits as well. One that I just built up that I really enjoyed was the Gatekeeper. Now, this is a fun build. Uh, Element is under the parent company Associated Electrics, Team Associated, so you know these guys know how to build kits. This went together really well, and it's fun when you're outside off-roading with it. Uh, again, you need to supply all the electronics, paint, tools, and such. Uh, and there are lots of option parts and really cool builds out there to inspire you after you build up the kit. Check out some of the groups that are out there. Instagram is loaded with Element RC pictures, and this kit will truly inspire you to build some really cool stuff. The Vanquish VS410 Pro. If you want just the best of the best crawler kit out there, you definitely need to check this kit out. This is an absolute work of art. Uh, I really loved it when I was building it up. And actually when I went out to drive it, I was a little worried because it is just such a work of art. You don't want to scratch it. Getting that first scratch on this truck is pretty hard, but this is an absolutely beautiful kit. The instruction manual is fantastic. Uh, the build was really easy following the instructions. Uh, it is, you know, you're going to have to supply everything with it, obviously, uh, as far as electronics goes and building tools and such, even paint. Um, the only thing I wasn't too thrilled about was the tires, but they actually perform pretty well for a kit tire. Uh, but let me show you guys what's under the hood on this. I got to pop the body off just so you can check it out. 
a really nice chassis layout and the big feature underneath are the aluminum axles just i mean the machine work on those is fantastic really solid chassis on this thing nice uh, links on it, uh, the drive shafts, nice shocks on here. There's just so many cool features about this. This is a little pricey. Definitely check out my review on it so you can see all of its features. But the, the build itself is a lot of fun and it backs it up with some great performance. This awesome looking project right here came out of this box. The Trexus TRX4 kit is awesome to start with and then to build up over time into something absolutely amazing. Now, don't get me wrong. This kit is fun in itself right out of the box. Uh, the build is fantastic. The instruction manual is fantastic in here. They do give you all the electronics. Uh, you'll just need to supply a battery, charger, and a, a body for this. They have a bunch of different bodies that will uh, go right onto this chassis, but this thing just flows together so easily. Traxxas knows how to offer a build-up kit. And like I said, there are just so many option parts out there that you could turn this uh, stock truck into something really, really wild. This thing has a lift kit on here, a custom body done by RC Patina guy. It's loaded with LED lights. I absolutely love the TRX4. So much fun to build and so much fun to drive. The Tamiya Clubbuster is a true classic. And if you've never been in RC, you may know somebody that actually has one. If you start talking about RC cars, I mean, that's how well known the Cloudbuster is. Now, this is the Black Edition. They don't have this one available right now. They have the Super Cloudbuster back there. Uh, we're actually building that up for a project, but uh, I, I've got this one together to show you. This is absolutely a fun build. Whether you're new to RC or you've been in RC for a long time, just looking for something fun to build, kind of kick you back to the old days of when RC started. Just kind of, you know, a, a plastic kit, yes, but th the way it goes together, it's just fun. I mean, when I sat down to build this thing, I just could not stop. I, I just like the old school feel of this truck. And, and when it's done, the old school driving experience you have with it is just an absolute blast. These tires make a really unique noise. The driveline makes a really unique sound that it, it just gets your heart pumping. And you could just sit there for hours and drive this thing around in, in a dirt lot, in a parking lot, wherever. It's just a fun truck. Uh, you know, the only thing with Tamiya vehicles is they don't come with bearings. I'd say maybe pick up a bearing kit, but uh, this is a full assemble kit. Tamiya has fantastic instructions. And uh, you know, you do have to supply the paint, the electronics. Actually, they give you the motors with this kit and the speed controller, but you have to provide the rest of the electronics but uh, you know solid body on this thing uh, the chassis is just a big hunk of plastic really the gearboxes are really stout on there you know no oil filled shocks on this it bounces around a little bit that's all part of the fun to me the kits are just fantastic I mean for any type of build if you're looking for any type of fun build definitely check out a Tamiya kit so those are my suggestions for 10 cool RC car kits to build. If you're an RC builder and have a list of your own or maybe just a favorite that other people should check out, put it in the comment section below. And while you're down there, please click that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw out the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos. Oh, hold on a second. I've got a bonus kit for you to check out, the XSA kits from Tamiya. These are pre-built cars from the factory. However, you have to install the electronics. So if you don't want to do the full build and want to install your own electronics, these are definitely some kits you should check out.